to Craft Time with Matthew Made Art. Really glad to have you here today. I've got a really fun, spooky Halloween project for you. We're getting really close to the big day, so I thought we could make some paper jack lanterns. I'm going to give you kind of the step by step on how I created these, and you can follow along and make your own pumpkin. But also, I want you to be creative as you want, whatever color you want your pumpkin, whatever face, whatever shapes you want to use. If you want to be striped or polka dot, just Use your imagination and go wild. I only have three rules of crafting, and that's kindness is required, creativity is inspired, and perfection is unnecessary. All right, let's make some pumpkins. For this project, you'll need construction paper, markers, glue, scissors, and don't forget your imagination. All right, first step is you wanna take whatever color you want your pumpkin to be. I'm gonna make an orange pumpkin here, so I got an orange piece of paper, and we're gonna fold that we're gonna take our two short ends and we're gonna fold them together like so. Fold it in half like this. Kind of line these two edges up. Make a nice good crease there. We're just making some guidelines, so we're gonna fold it again. We'll take the same same way we're gonna fold it this way. Fold it to here. Get these two lined up. Make a nice good crease here. And we're gonna fold one more time, like so. All right. Now we're gonna unfold this, like so. And we're gonna take our scissors and we're gonna cut off this first little piece here. So we're just gonna cut right along this line that we folded and use that fold line as a guide. I'm gonna take that one off. So I'm going to set that aside for right now, and I'm going to take our paper, and now we're going to fold it the opposite way that we folded it before. We're going to take our two long edges and line them up, like so, and get those lined up, and then we'll make a nice crisp crease here. All right, we're going to unfold it back, and now we're going to cut right down that line we just folded. Scissors here, cut right down this line. Like so. Okay, and now we're gonna take our glue and we're gonna take these kind of first two panels here. We're gonna glue these together. So I'll put a little bit of glue on here. I'm just gonna take these first two panels and kind of line them up to that first fold there. We go. Now we take these folds and we kind of kind of fold them all in the same direction here, like so. This is going to be kind of the bottom of our pumpkin. Fold these all in around like so, and then we're going to take these two panels and put these together. That'll make the bottom part of our pumpkin. All right, put a little bit of glue on there. Nice little thin layer of glue. Don't get too thick, it'll dry pretty quick. So we're just gonna overlap those two panels. All right, and then this will be the bottom part of our pumpkin. We're gonna grab another piece of paper, like so. Same color as, as this one. We're gonna kind of do the same thing like we did the other piece of paper, where we're gonna fold it in half. We're gonna take two short sides Put them together. Make a nice, strong, crisp crease there. Fold it again. Lining those edges up. All right, and then we're gonna do it one more time. Just like we did the first time. Here we go. All right. Now that we've got it folded, we're gonna unfold it. And this time, we're gonna use these creases as guides. So this time we're gonna cut down all these strips here. So on every fold, I'm gonna cut down. And these will be the strips we're gonna to use to make the top part of our pumpkin. Cut down each one of these lines. Like 
so. Cuts here. All right, so now we've got our strips here. These strips are going to create the top of our pumpkin. All right, so next I'm going to take the bottom part of my pumpkin and I'm going to start gluing in these strips here. I'm just going to put a little bit, I'm going to take my first strip and put a little bit of glue right here. Just on the very end, and I'm going to take this, I'm going to glue it right inside this little panel here. So it lines up, lines up with this panel here. Hold that on there for a second, let it, let it grab hold. And now as I start gluing these on there, I need to make sure that I'm going directly across. So you want to make sure that you're going directly across to the panel that's exactly opposite that one. So that you're dividing it exactly in half. So I'll put a little bit of glue on this one. Alright. Glue that in there. And I'm going to kind of do the same thing with all those strips. The next one I'm going to do is I'm going to start on this side directly across from it. So I'm going to put a little bit of glue on here. I'm going to put this right here. Glue it in. All right, and then I'm just gonna put this one right across the top there so it makes a cross. So I've got kind of two panels in between each one so they're nice and even. Put a little bit of glue on here. I'll glue this into here. You don't need to get it real tight, they can just kind of sit in there. Like, like so. All right, and so now we're gonna do the next, we're gonna do the next Strip and we can start doing. I'll just probably put this one right here next to this one. So I'll put a little bit of glue on there. I'm just going to start right here next to that first strip we put in. Glue it into that panel. So you're just lining them up with the panels here. Now I'm going to go directly across from that one, which will put it right here next to this one. So I'm just going directly across. Alright, so you can kind of see how we're kind of creating the round top of our pumpkin there. Alright, so we gotta, we'll do that three more times. We'll grab another strip, put just a little bit of glue on there. We'll sneak this one right in there between those two, like so. Glue it in there. Then I'm going to glue it around directly across from that, kind of right into this hole, like so. As I try getting more and more of these on, they're going to get a little tricky. But just want to leave them nice and relaxed across the top of each other there. You don't want to push them down too hard. Alright, so that leaves us two slots left there. So I'm going to take one more strip, put a little bit of glue on it. I'm going to glue it right inside of here. And I'm going to bend that over and I'm going to go directly and then slot directly across from it. Right there. And as you can see, the top of our pumpkin is almost ready to go. Oop, lost, lost my grip on that one. Alright. There we go. I just got one more to get in there. So put a little glue on there. I'll put it right inside this hole here. I kind of put my hand on the inside there to kind of push down on it. I can line it right up with that last panel that we're missing. Okay, and I want to run it across the top, right into that last hole. Right into there. Last one can be a little tricky. All right, and there we go. We got our main, our main pumpkin shape. Okay, next up, I'm going to cut a little stem. 
So we can do the little, little stem on top of these pumpkins. I'm gonna do that same thing for this guy. So I got some green paper here. Scrap from another project we made. Always keep your scraps around so you can use up all your paper. So I'm just gonna cut shape my stem here. Just like so. And I'm gonna fold it over like this. So I got a little tab there that I can just glue it right on top there. I'm gonna take my pumpkin. I'm glue this little stem right on top. Just about right there. I'm gonna put my hand under there so I can kind of press down on it. Like so. Now we can start working on our face. This one I did like black, so it looks like the candles blew out, and this one's kind of yellow, so it looks like the candles burning. I think on this one I'm gonna be a little creative and I'm gonna use some green paper. Maybe it's got a green light inside of it, so. You can do kind of whatever shapes you want for this. I'm gonna fold my paper so I can cut, cut just once. On, on this one, I did kind of round eyes on these two, and so on this one, I think I'm gonna do kind of more like, maybe more like angry eyes. So I'm gonna cut a straight line. And cut a shape like this so that my pumpkin's eyes look a little bit more angry. I got a little big on those, which happens sometimes when you're just cutting it out. So I'm gonna take my scissors, I'm gonna trim this down so it fits on there a little better. I think this will be better. Yeah, I think those will be good. Now I'm gonna take my eyes. Here I'm gonna cut just a little, a little bit into here. Like so. All right. A little bit of glue on here. And we'll glue these right on the front of our pumpkin here. Alright, I got one eye on there. Put the other one right here. Yeah, this pumpkin looks a little bit more spooky. Alright. Put the other eyeball on there. We can cut out a nose. On these, I kind of did the classic triangle nose. Maybe I'll do a different shape of a nose for this one. I'll do a, I'm gonna do a circle. Scissors. Kind of have a more of a circular shape, a little oval maybe for the nose. Use whatever colors and whatever shapes you like on your pumpkin to really make them come alive and make them yours. All right, I got a little round nose. I'm gonna put that right there. Put a little glue like so. I got a little nose on there. All right. I think the last thing I have to do is mouth. So I got this piece of paper folded here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna kind of work over the fold so I can cut one side of the mouth and it'll, it'll, make, it, it'll make it even. So I think this time I'm gonna do kind of more of a, a jag, jagged type mouth like this. Folded it, now I can unfold this. Got the mouth, let's see if that fits on there. Yeah, I like that, that looks good. All right, so I got a little bit long here on this side, so I'm just gonna trim this last, this piece down here. Trim that like that, and that now we should be able to fit it on there. Yeah, that looks good. All right, so I'm gonna take a little bit of glue Put it on the back here. 
glue that right on there. Kind of fold it around these folds on the little panels there as I as I glue it down. Alright, congratulations, you did it! We built pumpkins today. That was fun, sure enjoyed having you here. We really enjoy sharing these projects with you, and if you enjoy watching these videos and making the projects, and I hope you do, if you could subscribe and like and comment on the videos, that all helps me out a lot. And uh, be sure to join us next week when we'll be making another spooky Halloween project. We'll be making these paper cats with witch hats. So I hope to see you then. Bye.